What's going on guys? So we have a PS4 and PS5 emulator all in one for Windows called KYTY and it's available to download right now. Now, it's in the early stages of development so don't expect it to be able to load up any PS5 games yet, but it can launch some commercial PS4 games. Now don't expect the performance to be great or to be able to run all the latest PS4 releases. KYTY lacks support for audio input and output, MP4 video, network and multi-users. Now I just wanted to let you guys know about this emulator and that it's in the works, as well as two other PS4 emulators called Spine and GPCS4. Now all of these emulators are still in early development stages so don't get too excited yet. It's not like we are about to be playing PS4 or PS5 games on PCs at 4K60 with ray tracing, right? Well, not yet anyways. It will probably be a while I'm guessing around the end of the PS5 lifespan before we even see some big PS4 games running on these emulators and who knows when we will see the PS5 games playable I mean right now KYTY doesn't have support for graphics in any PS5 game so for right now we're just gonna call these PS4 emulators. And that's all good cause it's just great to know that we have three emulators in the works for PS4 and it will be really exciting once they have these booting up games and running smooth with upscale graphics. Now this emulator really isn't worth playing around with yet to be honest but if you would like to download it for yourself I have the KYTY link in the description below. Now in other emulation news involving Sony, people that are signing up for the new PlayStation Plus service offering classic PlayStation games are not happy. It's because Sony decided to upload the 50 Hz PAL versions of these classic games, which at the boot screen of their first party games, you see Sony Computer Entertainment Europe, which is a dead giveaway this is true. Running at 25 FPS with a lot of stutter and the games begin to look awful. So let me explain this real quick using the PS5 as an example. So basically, the PS5 can output a minimum of 60 Hz, but PAL versions are made for 50 Hz displays. Since 50 frames per second does not divide evenly into 60 Hz refresh rate, there's no other option but to vary the length of time a frame is displayed resulting in very bad stutter. And this is not a good smooth gaming experience, I mean, come on Sony. They could have went to some ROM sites and downloaded all the PS1, PS2, and PSP titles they needed for this service and gave us a better experience than this. I mean, hey, I'm just being honest. And as soon as we think these big companies are doing something that we asked for, they also find a way to mess it up somehow, some way. Well, besides Microsoft with their retro games, they did a pretty good job with their backwards compatibility. But Sony, I'm sorry, you got to do better than this. That's all for now. Thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.